I'm Sean Yao and this is One News Now. A Senate probe on the RFID traffic mess has been set for Thursday, December 17. Public Services Committee Chair Senator Grace Post says they will be looking into the implementation of the RFID system along the NLEX. Recall that this move resulted in heavy traffic along the expressway as well as numerous complaints of malfunctioning equipment. Poe explained that the new system should have offered ease of travel while keeping motorists safe from COVID-19. The senator previously said that Transportation Secretary Art Tugade will be summoned to answer questions before the panel. A lawmaker is blaming the K-12 supposed failure for the country's poor standing in international proficiency tests. In a statement, ACT Teachers Representative Franz Castro says the congested education curriculum led to the low ranking of Filipino students. Castro was referring to the 2019 trends in international mathematics and science study where our students placed last among 58 countries. The lawmaker, who was an educator for decades, hit the government for what she calls the chop suey method for teaching competencies. The Education Department earlier claimed that teachers' competence and the medium of instruction were the main factors that were affecting the students' learning ab ability. The Philippine National Police is looking to provide 24-7 COVID-19 testing services for personnel. Lieutenant General Guillermo Elizar says officials are now coming up with a protocol for aggressive testing efforts. This, as two molecular labs in Camp Krame, Quezon City, can sometimes accommodate less than 100 tests a day. Eliazar, who leads the admin support for COVID-19 task force, adds that the database will be improved for any time access. The PNP has so far recorded over 8,500 COVID-19 infections. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World online. Visit our website, oneuse.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Sean Yao. We are One News.